So now let's go ahead and take a look at checklists. Checklists in their very nature are a little different than issues. With issues, you're walking through a room or a location and you're identifying typically only the negatives, the things that were done wrong, the things that were deficient, broken. Now that's fine. Uh, the issue tracking functionality is going to give you the ability to document those and track those through completion. Checklists, on the other hand, you walk into a given location and you have a set list of items to document, verify, or inspect. The example I always use is this. If your owner, a member of your team, an executive asks you, how many quality related issues did you find last month? And you told him, well, we found 50 quality related issues last month and you were using just issue tracking. 50 quality related issues might sound like a lot. However, with a more structured uh, checklist program here in the system, you're able to point to the number of total observations to really change the way that 50 deficient items are looked at. So if you say, well, yeah, last month we did find the 50 deficient items, but we made over 10,000 observations. You're now looking at a much better conformance rate with the same number of deficient items. And oh yeah, those deficient items, they're not just logged on a, on a piece of paper, filed away, or an email that you might lose record of. There's clear documentation of that issue, who was it assigned to, what corrective action was taken to, to track it through completion and ensure it was addressed. So a little different conceptually in how we look at issues and checklists. So I'll hit that checklist button in the top left and you can see the checklist templates that I've loaded onto my project. So we have quality checklists. We have a structured list of safety checklists as well. We also have some commissioning checklists, so some functional and pre-functional testing for some of my major MEP equipment. So I can come in here and I can see the previous instances of these checklists, the frequency at which they were run, or I can come in and I can click to open one and fill one out um, from scratch. So again, checklists. I have a set list of items to document, verify, or inspect. So I can come in right on down the list and I can say, yep, number one, I observed it, it looks good. Number two, that is conforming as well. Oh, you get to number three though. Ensure forms are tight and maintained, snug against concrete surfaces. You know what? For whatever reason, I have to indicate that this is a non-conforming item. Right when I select minus, notice what happened. It created an issue here. So from a deficiency log in my checklist, I have a issue that's generated. I can then assign it out, track it through completion, and ensure that something that was proactively observed is getting corrected before you proceed uh, with your work. So I can go down and I continue filling out this checklist. So four looks good, wood quality as specified, yep. Notice we have more than just plus minus as a response type. We have pass, fail, we have yes, no, true, false. You, we actually have a date field where you can come in and you can populate the date at which um, you know this the date the formwork was removed in this scenario. We have a drop down list, so single select list and multi select list. This happens to be a multi select list, so I can select more than one uh, response from this item here. Once I complete this checklist, I can then go up into the header, and there's a few things I can do. So custom for my project and my workflow. I actually have a workflow where the author comes into this signatures field here and the author of the, si author of the checklist signs um, here at the bottom uh, when they've completed the checklist. Now as a part of my workflow, the next process is this checklist I can then sync up remotely out here in the field and my QC director back in the home office, wherever he or she may be can come in, review the checklist, maybe they add comments, maybe they add supplemental information, add photos, pull in a spec, simply review the checklist. Part of my workflow is, at that point, my QC director, back in the home office later that day, will come in and sign off here. So a sample workflow there, showing you the customization that we have available here in our checklist functionality. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at um, equipment here.